Hi all, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we are we are going to go to make uh, the remaining operation. So the first one uh, will be to uh, to uh, locate a hole, and then we will start with the with the V notch. So uh, the setup is done for our center drill, and the final hole will be done on the drill press. So let's run. Let's run the program. Now we're going to make uh, the first, the first group, the small one, and to do that I will use a very small end mill, and um, I cannot start the V groove in the first step, so I will do uh, a notch, a very small one, to allow the tips, you know, of the uh, of the V groove bit uh, to be <coughs> not in the material. So that's why I need to make a first notch with a small end mill. It's a carbon end mill, two floats. So the first notch was done. I will show you the the hand mill. You can see it's very very small, and uh, <coughs> the result on the part. And uh, this notch has done has a purpose to avoid that uh, the end of this hand mill. Uh, as something to cut, so it will cut like that now. And uh, start to make the groove. 
So let's do the setup. So now we start the V groove uh, with the 45 and me. first groove, the small one, is done. It can be closed, as you can see. And uh, I have a piece of square. And that is perfect. So now I have to, to flip the part and make uh, the other notch, the big one, the big groove <coughs> that uh, that is supposed to, to go on the on the lays. So we'll do the setup and uh, show you it after. Okay, now we are going to make the slats for the other V groove. <coughs> and uh, the V groove is, is bigger, so we use the, the bigger end mill. 